There are coaches and there are coaches, but there are only a handful legendary enough to be mentioned in the same breath. Pop Warner, Amos Alonzo Stagg, Connie Mack, Newt Rockney, George Hallis, Adolf Rupp, John Wooden, and Arnold Red Auerbach. Red's NBA career has now spanned 45 years. He has an NBA record 938 career victories. He coached the Celtics to nine world titles, eight of them in succession. Overall, as a coach or general manager, he's been responsible for 16 NBA World Championships in Boston. How difficult was it for you to quit? Well, I projected a year in advance. I told, uh, I made a statement that uh, this is going to be my last year. In other words, I didn't win it and quit. I, I gave him all a shot at me. Uh, and uh, it was sort of difficult for a while, but uh, being you're still in the game, and I was still the general manager and so forth in charge of scouting and personnel, I kept so active that uh, I didn't miss the coaching as much as I normally would if I uh, resigned or retired and went into a business. As a matter of fact, uh, when I coached years ago, we didn't have any assistants. We didn't have any scouts. Uh, I look back and I laugh uh, whenever the guys complain. What I did, I got eight guys doing today. And it didn't kill me. I did all my own scouting. I was the general manager, went to all the meetings, board of governors, whatever. No assistant coaches. No videotapes, no movies, no nothing. It had to be up in your head. It wasn't easy, but it was a lot of fun. Your teams were great fast break teams. There are teams now that have success uh, such as the Detroit Pistons, dictating tempo in the game. Were you ever slowed down by teams that tried to slow you down? Well, it's not easy to force you into tempo if you get your rebound and go, because uh, what happens, they hold the ball, and they try to slow the tempo because of the way they play offense. And the only thing you can do then is just be aggressive and make them make moves you know, by pressing them and so forth. But a lot of people say uh, such and such a team is a great defensive team, whether it be college or, or professional. That's not always so. Uh, sometimes they're considered a great defensive team because they hold the ball on offense and they keep the scores down, not because they actually play the great defense. The Pistons have one of the, uh, <clears throat> one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders of basketball during these times, I think in Dennis Rodman, number one. No defender. question. Yes, I do. And would he be uh, among the best defenders you've seen throughout the years? Yeah. Yes, he would. He's excellent. Who's the best defensive player ever? Is it Bill Russell? Oh, no question. Uh, he changed the whole game. He, I mean, when he's in the game, uh, nobody driving in. He used to funnel guys into him, and he'd just look at him, you know, go, you know, that type of thing. Coach, nobody but nobody did more for professional basketball than Coach Red Auerbach. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Interesting fella, isn't he?